<coughs> hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today, I'm going to answer some questions a lot of you guys have had asked me about what I do with my stuff when I get to the tree because um, I don't wear my harness in. Uh, I have the swim noodles and stuff there that I got to contend with. How do I unpack all this stuff? I carry my stand on my pack like this. Why do I do that? How do I do that? So I got a lot of these questions. Thought I'd take a minute and answer them because I can't actually climb. I'm uh, kind of laid up here for about two more weeks. It's only first week of August, but um, I ripped that Achilles heel or Achilles tendon back there. I strained it really bad slipping in my power wash and trailer coming out of there. I slipped in, uh, like I said, it kind of hurting a little bit there. So I'm not going to be climbing for another week or two before I do uh, some of those kind of videos. But so technically here though, I thought I could answer these questions for you and show you some examples. So this is how I go in. This is what I look like. Now, a lot of people say, have asked why I carry my stands and my sticks out here rather than against my back and hang my pack on my stands. I used to do that a whole lot. I, <coughs> sorry. I used to wear it that way. I even had uh, the hip belt on the stand and uh, the nice shoulder straps and all that kind of stuff, and it worked really well. Uh, this I like better, mainly because this is so much more comfortable. Doesn't matter if it's this Kuyu pack or my Mystery Ranch pack. They're so much more comfortable. I mean, I have nothing on my shoulders. Look, at you can see, I mean, there's nothing, you know, there's no weight. It's all on my hips. And this thing is so much more comfortable than that Molly system. And when the stand is on my back, it locks me. It's a solid, hard frame, that stand. And you can't maneuver or do anything. And if you guys have seen... You look at my Missouri, Missouri video from uh, the year, two years ago, uh, this is how I actually stalked for hours. I, and, and I was in a, in a purple shirt, a purple t-shirt, blue t-shirt, but I actually stalked and killed that spike. Um, but it gave me, being like this, gives me the ability to get down low to flex. I can shoot, I can do all of this stuff with this system on my back where when it was a stand, it like locked you and was too restrictive and I couldn't do stuff. So I like this better from a comfort standpoint and from a shootability and maneuver standpoint, like I said, I can get down low. This doesn't bother me and I don't have it worry about it hitting me in the head. Um, if I happen to be moving through and I see deer and I want to get way down again, I can't, that, that ankle right now, I'm hurting. But if I wanted to get way down low on the ground, I can and this doesn't impact me or interfere with me or give me any issues. The pack flexes with my body, the stand doesn't. So I prefer to carry it this way. You can also see that that stand doesn't stick out that much farther. Does it stick out more? Yes. Is there a chance it can snag a little more? Yes. But you get so used to it, moving it around. It pref For me, I prefer to have it this way. That's why I carry it like that. Now, when I get to the tree, a lot of people get that attitude of, uh, you know, well, what do you do with your, your gear on here when you're at the tree? So I'm going to show you that basically. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to end up leaving the swim noodles and I'm going to leave those straps on the ground. Okay, those, uh, bu those red bungees that you see on there, those and that swim noodle are going to be left down here at the base of the tree on the ground. And a lot of people are like, well, that's going to leave scent everywhere. You, you can't do that. You'll get busted in a heartbeat. You know, the less scent you leave down there, the better. Take it up with you if you want to. But as far as I'm concerned, everywhere you stand in the woods for 30 seconds, you are leaving scent. I don't care what kind of clothing you're wearing, what kind of boots, scent lock stuff, none of it makes any difference. Dogs have proven that time and time again, and we know that a whitetail smells way better than a dog does. So uh, there is nothing out there that's going to prevent that. Think of it this way, put it in simple terms. Imagine that the dead skin cells <coughs> and all of the stuff that's coming off of your body, uh, let's think of it as snow. Okay, look at it as snow. So when you're walking through the woods, you're leaving little tr snowflakes everywhere as you go little dust snowflakes that are there and animals can track that now if i stop somewhere and i stand here and i go do i want to hunt this tree do i want to hunt that tree and i stand here for let's say i stand here for 30 seconds 30 seconds later underneath me if you could see that stuff it would be like a quarter inch thick it would look like a dusting of snow like frost in that circle right there of all that stuff coming off me it's going to be there for a long time now when i get to a tree i want to hunt there is going to be, when I'm hunting, not only is there going to be a huge two inch deep section of that stuff if we're relating it to snow, now it's not a dusting. It's two inches deep right here as I get everything ready. Hang my stand, go up. And then on the downwind side, it's, it's inches deep as it fans out right there. So, I mean, you got to understand that your scent footprint is unbelievable. 
okay it's just straight up unbelievable so um with that said i prefer to leave my stuff down on the ground i don't care about it i will leave my foam pads and i will leave those uh straps down there on the ground so uh, for me makes no difference so that's how i usually set that up um, and i'm going to show you that here in a second so uh we'll remove my bow out of the way i take my bow set it out of the way and uh, what i'm going to do here i'm going to back you up a touch so that you can see down to ground level let's see here so that should be about perfect right there Okay, so what we're doing here, I get to the tree and I pick this tree. Now, I don't have my harness or nothing. It's all in my bag. But the second I say, okay, this is the tree right here. I pop this, I pop this. Pack comes down. I know that's where I want to go. I just set the pack right here. I got two straps for my pack right here that are holding this together. I pop them. I pull this out. Might hear a little noise when I do this. I could do it quieter if I want, but you might hear those buckles come through the metal right here. Listen. Nope, didn't make any noise, but did get stuck. Hang on, there we go. And so I pull that pack out. Now that pack is separated from the stand. Sweet and easy, that's done. I set that right there. The paracord that's in my pocket is actually, we're gonna be using that for another video here shortly. So I'm gonna set that aside. And uh, I got people cruising by in golf carts. But uh, that's actually because I don't have my pull-up cord. Apparently I left it in Georgia. So that is for another video we're making. But so I have this set up here now. I got my pack right here and I got that. I just, all I did was separate that, okay? Now we have them separate. What I'm gonna do while this is leaning against the tree, I'm going to pop this strap and I'm gonna throw it right down here. I'm gonna pop this one and I'm gonna throw it right down here. Lean the stand against the tree. I grab all three sticks, pull them apart and I drop that right there. That's where that's gonna stay at. Okay, those are not gonna move. Now I'm ready to throw on my heart, open this up. I saw, you know, real simple here. What I like about this Kuyu pack is that you can uh, pop these real quick and easy and just wide open. But then I got my harness right here. I have my Lyman belt, on I go, ready to go, sweet, simple, and easy. So nothing to that. I actually, you know, if I put this on right now, I prefer the step through model. This is the one that's designed by John at Tactic Saddle. I love, 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 love this harness here. But we got to get it here, like this. And then I just fit right in through this leg strap. So I got them set, they're even, and I just fish them right on. So it goes right on that foot. Right on like so. Get up here and get it set. Okay, we're good there. And we're good there. And we're good there. So now my harness is on. I am set there. Grab my lineman belt. Throw on my lineman belt. Lock it. And now I am officially ready to climb. Now I would hook my bow line up. That's another video we're going to do here in a minute. But now I'm ready to take my first stick, throw it on, start climbing. Okay. Now on my bow line, when I hook up my, my haul line to get up the tree, I am going to hook. I will show you this real quick here. So I grabbed a piece of paracord because I don't have mine here, but I have two loops on here. So again, another video that will go on there that way. And then my bow goes on here this way. It's looped on. Again, I will show you this in another video here coming up soon. Double looped. There it is. My pack and my bow stands right here together. And then up the tree with me. This is connected to my side. It had my real one has a carabiner on it. I click it right here on my harness, lock it in. I'm set. Now I'm ready to start climbing. So that's it. So as you can see though, when I take that stand and sticks up, I have the only thing I have left down here is that swim noodle and that setup. When I go to pack this up, okay, I get to the bottom of the tree, take it off my haul line. That's the first thing I put away, otherwise you lose it. So that comes off and off the bow. And then it comes off the pack. Then I'm going to roll this. I roll it right around my hand again. Um, this is not my real one. It's got knots and stuff in it. But I take it and I just roll it right around my hand. You know, it's only 22 feet long, so it's nothing to it. When I get to that first loop, I know I'm far enough. I take it and I just wrap it a few times this way. Run it through itself. And there's my haul line. Goes directly into my pack immediately. Okay. It sits, actually, I'm going to need it though. But it goes into my pack. Bow gets set out of the way. I come over here, I pop my lineman belt off. 
This comes off, goes into the pack. Right here, grab my zipper. And this goes in. My binoculars are already in, all my goodies are in. That goes in right there. Hit my harness, pull one side, pull second side. Like that to be about right there. Pull this. Harness comes off, I just step right out of it. Harness goes right in the bag. <coughs> like this. Bag gets sealed up, bag is done now. Bag gets set there. Make sure the side compression straps are on and tight. So that they're good. Make sure those are opened up. Take my stand, I set my stand right on there, right off the bat, just to make it easy. I put my swim noodle on. You guys can still see this, right? Open, let me back you up a little bit. Then my swim noodle goes on right there. Sticks right on here like this. <coughs> Two bungees. One and two. Like that. Cords come through. This cord comes through. Pinch them together and tighten it up. There's one. Cord comes through on this side. Cord comes through. Where's my other cord? Right here. Comes through on this side. And I am set. I am done. There's my stand. This comes up on the shoulder. Give yourself a little slack in the hip belt. Put your drawers up. Lock the hip belt first. Gives you good release and comfort. Shoulders. <coughs> and we are ready to walk out. Grab your bow. And we are done. So that is that process. Uh, very easy, but I am leaving the sticks and, or not the sticks, but the uh, swim noodle and the straps on the ground. I'm not concerned about the, the scent factor, but now as you can see, I'm done and ready to leave. So that's the pack up process. That's the simplicity of this system and why I choose to do the things I do. Just makes perfect sense for me. It's just a very simple, easy uh, method and I like it the best. So there you go. Thanks for watching.